Okay, here we are on the uh, 2022 DCA INE application. Now, some of you might be thinking that I shouldn't be able to do this because I don't march DCA. Well, that's where you're wrong. It says right here in their official rules that they have a uh, very low barrier to entry. So all you have to do is be associated with a drum corps, which I marched Bushwhackers for five years, so I am associated with them and I can compete. But I don't want to compete on a popular instrument like snare or tenors, okay? I want to do a category that nobody else is going to enter and get first out of one because i think it's kind of messed up like if some kids like are practicing all season long and then some random like professional guy comes in and wins not to say that i would definitely win like i, I honestly might lose if i did snare tenors because well i'm not really going to practice it i'm just going to kind of freestyle but anyways uh we're going to enter this and i'm going to do not one not two but five solos so we're going to click percussion solo list instrument below i will list right here that i am doing a flub drum solo yes i'll also be doing a bass drum solo not a bass drum ensemble me by myself playing bass drum we're also gonna do roto tom solo i mean it's more like roto tenors because i made roto toms in the shape of tenors and we're also gonna do octobon solos as you can see right back there i got the tiny tenors set up those are i guess technically they're octobons and the fifth and final category is gonna be the mega tenors oh yes i just gotta specify that this isn't regular tenors okay because remember i don't want to compete against any tenor players so the only uh possible problem here is in the rules it says right here that uh the instrument has to be currently included on the field in a dca core performance so they might not let me do a mega tenor solo since well nobody's marched the mega tenors not yet at least and i don't think any dca groups are marching flub drums uh so maybe they won't let me do that but uh, yeah there are a lot of groups marching bass drums every group marches bass drums uh nobody marches rototoms or octobons but they're somewhat common to put in the front ensemble so maybe that'll count i guess we'll see what happens but let's fill out the rest of this uh my name is not emc it's actually eric carr guess what the m stands for compose it in the comments Looks like this is just basically like checking out of an online store. I'll add five of these INE solos to my cart. And there we go. I just bought five INE solos. I paid $50 to do this. I guess we'll see if they actually let me do it. I'll be back in a few weeks or months or something. Welcome back. So it looks like they're actually going to let me do all five of those INE solos, which was kind of surprising, but also kind of epic. So I've been working super hard over the past week, <laughs> learning and writing five different INE solos and I think I'm gonna do okay. Although I did realize that I haven't performed live in like nine months, <laughs> so hopefully I don't uh, get up there and freak out and poop my pants in front of everyone. So we've got five solos and 32 drums to worry about, so the first step is loading all of this gear into my vehicle. Oh yeah, check out those amazing packing skills. I got everything crammed into here. And I even have enough room to fit a whole nother human person up here in the front seat. Everyone, meet Nicole. Hi! She is the human person riding in that seat. Yep. Okay, we made it to Rochester. I'm doing some last minute hotel bed practice here. Uh, I got my sheet music diligently written out. Yeah, this is what the sheet music looks like when you write a whole five solos in just one week. See, the uh, the beginning of the roto tenor solo is a glissando with one stick, a cell with two sticks, release, chops, sol fa, mi, re, do, buzz, di cellerando. Makes sense? Got it memorized? Okay, good. Let's go play everything in front of tens of people. All right, next up is Eric Carr. The Bushwhacker is playing the Mega Tenor.
right, next up is Eric Carr again from the Bushwhackers playing the Octobons. Yeah. Next up is Eric Carr. He's going to be playing the Rotor Toms from the Bushwhackers. Here we go, man.
Next up, Eric Carr from the Bushwhackers playing an assortment of bass drums. Air car, bushwhackers on the flub drum.
Well, that was pretty lit. There was actually a whole lot more people there than I thought were gonna be watching. So thank you so much to everyone who came out to watch my solos. But we still got a bunch of events going on here in the convention center. We got uh, some brass INEs, some mini cores, so we're gonna enjoy all that. And then we got awards. Oh, I hope I win. Could be anybody. Rototoms 95, bass drum 90, punk drum 92, <laughs> oh from the Blue Whackers. All of those goes to Eric Carr. <laughs> Thank you. You deserve it. That's a heavy bag you've got right there. Oh, a lot of medals. A lot of medals. Yes, you're a winner. I am a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So this is for the Mega Tenors. Congratulations, Eric Carr. Thank you. Thank you. This is for the Octobots. Congratulations, Eric Carr. These are all the same medals, but thank you. No, no, they're different. Oh, all right. And this one's for the Flub Drum. Oh, yes. Congratulations, Eric Carr. Thank you. I'm sorry. Are my medals too loud? Are they making too much noise when I walk? The recaps have come in. So we got, uh, going in order of performance, the Mega Tenors, I scored 97 out of 100 points. The judges said great melodic content, thematic material, good dynamic control, especially lower drums. The Tiny Tenors, I got a 94, and they said implements are great, sweet pitch change, melodic content plus plus, great here, nice touch. Wonderful roll sequence, yes. Roto Toms. 95, we have smooth transitions, melodic content, good tuning. Great single stroke roll on loose heads, good control of pacing and tuning changes. Bass drums, I got 90 on this one. This is actually the lowest score out of all of them. Appreciate the throwback, spinning melody, great tuning, and moving and playing, yes. Wonderful control, smooth transitions, outstanding showmanship. And the flub drum critique. Uh, I got a 92 on the flub drum. Great way to create variety. Excellent finger control on loose head. And my favorite comment of all of them, you own the crowd. I am just a natural born crowd pleaser. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it enjoyable. If you did, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. If you are able to, please consider going over there to make a donation. It will help the channel out a whole lot. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.